Hello everyone, this is Firestar role playing, or as some of you might know me, uh, Dungeon Master Bloba, my old name. You can just call me Flame Tender Bloba now, I guess. But I am coming at you guys with my first within the official Within the Fire video, and um, it's going to be about one of my content updates. If you haven't seen them, go check out my Facebook page, link in the description. And I post the weekly content updates, um, adding new content to Within the Fire um, to help keep interest alive in the game. And my first update was the Day of Wine. It had like Drunken Master stuff, some drinking bonuses and negatives, etc. But I also had a spirit in there called the Weinzer, which is German for winemaker. I thought that was kind of cheap. You know, put that in there, a little insight into that. And this is going to be a monster ecology, I guess. Well, it's not really a monster, it's a spirit. It's like a spirit ecology or, or something <laughs> well, on that. Uh, Basically, I'm going to be describing what they do in the world and what I envision for them when I created them and how you can better use them in your games. And if you do use them in your game, please let me know. I would love to hear stories about any of my content that I update. I really love it. That's like, you know, I thrive off of that because, you know, as a content creator, um, feedback is the most important thing that anybody could have, you know. But they're abilities are i'll keep it brief because we're mainly talking about what they do in the world you can read fully about their abilities on my facebook page their abilities is they can enter um wine and meld with it and once they're inside of this wine anyone who drinks it they can possess them while they're inside of this wine and they well, not necessarily possess, but like get into their body. And if they get into their body like that, they can actually attack them with their special power, which not only does damage, but raises the drunkenness, basically the alcohol level in their blood. Um, I got my notes up here, in case you wonder why I keep looking up. And if they put them past stage four of um, drunkenness, they die. They die of alcohol poisoning. And they can just keep doing this attack because they're literally inside this person's body now because they consume the spirit and the spirit is within them. It's a pretty powerful ability. Um, it can be expelled if you can exercise the spirit from your body or somehow purge the alcohol from your blood which will force the spirit to materialize outside of your body. Um, I didn't actually literally put that in the description but you know that is essentially the way that that would be countered. Um, you know, I just thought that would come, you know, if somebody was wondering, you know, they might come up with that idea on their own, so I didn't add it, but uh, that is how I thought about that. And they can heal all damage they ever take if they imbue wine. They cannot heal any other way, and they cannot heal in combat. They can turn 10 gallons of any liquid they touch to wine. And any effects that affect water affect the wines there because they're completely their body's completely liquid. They look like um, an, a water elemental, if you will, but red, almost like a blood elemental. But they're complete, and their body's completely made out of wine. Now, what they do is, is their job to go around and spread drunkenness. That's one of the fortes of Bacchus. So, I mean, domains, Bacchus, is drunkenness. So, they are sitting there serving the Lord by going around and, and imbuing themselves into this wine and infecting people with drunkenness. And they can be sent as a blessing by Bacchus. And, you know, maybe this is like some ideas that you can use them as your game. Maybe they're sent as a blessing of Bacchus and then they go over there and they turn like an entire pool in a room into wine, like a bathing, like a, you know, like a spa type thing, you know, like an old Roman style bathhouse. Then they just go over there and they turn it all to wine. Or something like that. Something along those lines. Give me one idea. Or maybe there is a drunkard who, um, is cursing Bacchus or something like that, and then they can go terrorize that drunkard. And possess that and then kill him with drunkenness. You know, kill him with alcohol poisoning. And one of their main things they tend to do is they will possess the wine of someone who has angered them and you know, try to kill them that way. 
they don't really mess with the orcs too much because that you know the orcs although Bacchus stole wine from orcs the orcs um, still did create wine and they still do uh, have some of their magical powers and whatnot of the summoners and the like to counter such spirits so they tend to stay away from the core orc lands although they'll it could be interesting if you had an orcish player and had a wines or terrorizing him if he had something to do with wine making that could be another idea and um there is two magic items you can get the wine skin of the drunkard when you bind it to, to a wine skin, it automatically increases the drunkenness stage by one level ever, from anyone who drinks of it. It can't send it past stage four, so it can't kill them. But this can be used instantly, no matter what their vig is, no matter what and how hardy they are, no matter how many drinks they have, they take just literally one swig of this wine, and they bam, they're drunk. Take another swig, oh, they're drunk again, and again, and again, until they literally pass out from drink, from drunk, with just one swig apiece. And that can be a way that you can, um, kind of, you do need to fill the wine skin up yourself because it's not unlimited. That can be a way that you can kind of, uh, I guess, troll people in a way, you know, no pun intended. And, like, you go over there and you knock them out or something with drunkenness or lower their guard to pack the wine skin around a couple of times. Got to be kind of sly about it so they don't suspect something's up. Um... Or you could use it as a drunken master, which is one of my advantages, and use that, and then that can help you increase your drunkenness stage instantaneously to get some of those bonuses for being drunk. And there's a bottle of endless wine. And the bottle of endless wine is you bind it to an empty wine bottle, and the bottle will change any liquid, no matter what, blood, water, urine, anything, and turn it into wine. And it'll be perfectly drinkable, it tastes exactly like wine, no matter what the liquid was. And this can be used for many things, like you could um, have a, it's kind of like you could literally in a way combo the two if you had two of these wines there's bound, you know, that endless wine bottle, then you'd have an unlimited source of wine to fill your water skin, your wine skin with. Or you could simply just have it there so that you can always have some wine on you. You go over to a muddy puddle, scoop it up, bam, there's wine. You know, doesn't have any diseases, doesn't taste nasty or anything like that. And there you go. You can have an unlimited source of wine in that way. And keep the party going all night. Um, but those are the magic items. And now, the something that was possess, uh, suggested by one of the commenters on Facebook. I can't remember their name, I'm sorry. But I'll, I'll have to go look it up and if they have a YouTube channel, I'll try to link it in the description. Um, they suggested they got inspiration for using the wine skin of the drunkard, I believe, and a rogue cleric, a Bacchus, you know, he went rogue and bound a wine to it. They didn't really elaborate, but that's something you do. What if a rogue cleric, a Bacchus, got a hold of this? Maybe he has some levels in drunken master um, advantage, and, you know, he, he's just going wild. You know, like the Sertires, they get pretty dark and moody as they get older, so maybe it's like an old cleric, a Bacchus, who's kind of going rogue and captured a winezer and is drunken, like a, you know, a, a masterful martial artist with a drunken master, a bunch of drunken master advantages, and, you know, he's just gone rogue, and then that could be some sort of an idea, and, um, that's pretty much the summary of the winezer. Uh, aside from all of this, I am going to give you guys a quick content update. I will try to do one of these ecologies a week. Um, I'm going to probably do another one in a day or two, hopefully, maybe a little longer, of uh, for my other spirit that I made. And I'm going to kind of catch up. And then after that, I'm going to try to do it coinciding maybe a day after my content updates go live on Facebook. I'll make a, more videos like this. Um, and I have some other video ad ideas as well that I'm going to make that don't involve actual ecology stuff. But if you guys have any suggestions, questions, or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And I will get to you as soon as possible. Alright. I will see you guys all later.